and welcome to Just Kidding Cooking, where we try to cook but fail miserably. Or maybe we won't fail. Today, I'm baking some cookies. Totally my recipe. Anyways, let's get it. For this recipe, you will need two balls, one big and one small. Just kidding, just use any two balls you have at home. Baking soda, brown sugar, butter, eggs, two eggs, sugar, vanilla extract, flour, and some chocolate chips. Oh, and some salt. Now we grab our small ball and we put in our flour. Don't ask why there's flour already, but like, just go with the flow, honey, okay? And then uh, we add, I think, two cups of flour, and yeah. Then we add baking soda, which uh, I, I suppose it's like half a teaspoon, but then I added like a little bit more, but who cares? Yeah. To the flour, we add half a teaspoon of salt. And then you start mixing your um, flour and baking soda and salt. Set your bowl aside and then bring in your big bowl and then we're gonna put in our sugar. Yeah. Put in one cup of brown sugar. After adding your brown sugar, we're gonna add one cup of normal white sugar. Actually, it's not one cup, it's like three fourths a cup, but like, yeah. Mix the brown sugar and the white sugar together, just like a little mix, like you don't have to actually mix, but I just mix it because I want to mix it, it doesn't look satisfying. Now grab a ball and we're gonna microwave our butter, like one stick of butter. I like them to be melted because I think it gives like chewiness to the cookies. If your butter hasn't melted fully, just um, mix it, eventually it'll melt on its own. And as you see, it has melted. Now we're gonna grab our brown sugar and we're gonna add our butter to our brown and white sugar. Add all your butter and then you'll find your um, batter to be like this crunchy kind of sweet consistency and that's when you know it's ready. Now add your eggs, you'll need two eggs, one egg and one egg yolk. Now add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. As you see, I have already made a big mess, but uh, we're gonna start mixing our eggs and our vanilla extract, and um, this is the best part because it's like disgustingly amazing, and um, and now after mixing for a while, this is what you get, and then um, now we're gonna mix more, yay! We're done with the sugar, now we're gonna start with putting in our dry ingredients into our wet ingredients and then mixing until our hands go numb yay now you start mixing with your hands because it's way better and i add a little bit of flour on my hands so the like the batter doesn't stick on my hands and yeah it works yay After kneading your dough, this is what it should be looking like. Add in your chocolate chips for the amazingness. And um, I added like semi-sweet chocolate chips, like dark chocolate, I guess. But it was, yeah, it was better than like normal like chocolate chips. I don't know, it tasted more um, fancy, I guess you can say. So it was a big struggle because every time I would knead my dough, uh, the chocolate chips would fall, but who cares because they're on now and they're stuck there forever and they're going to be cooked. So yeah, add in the rest of your chocolate chips for, you know, that taste 
again. And then, yeah, we're done. Yay. With a dough only. Now we're done with our dough. Now put it in the fridge for 20 minutes or maybe more. And then don't forget to cover it, of course. And yeah. Now get your pan, cover it with um, uh, baking sheets so you can put in your cookies. We're done now, and now we're gonna put in our um, cookies. Uh, bring in like an ice cream scooper. If you don't have one, you can do it with your hands too. I kind of shape it with my hands. Yeah, and then I put it in. You can make mini cookies, you can make big cookies, whatever you prefer, and yeah. I was actually amazed by the batter because it made more than nine cookies. Those are only like the big ones that I wanted to make. Now bake your cookies for about 13 minutes. And yay, we're done with our cookies. Uh, those are my mini cookies because I forgot to take a picture of my bigger cookies. But anyways, they are still amazing. And I ate one just to show you how chewy and amazing and yummy they are. And yeah, pretty much these are my cookies. Yay.